If we want to solve a quadratic that's written in a form that looks something like this, where we've got uh, x plus something to the power 2 times a coefficient, and then all of that we're going to add or subtract a, a constant term, set that equal to 0, uh, we can use square roots to do this. Um, so the way this works is, just like when we're solving linear equations, we want to get the x by itself. But the trick is, to get there, we're going to have to get rid of this exponent, too. So we're going to have to use a square root to cancel that out. But the first few steps are just like with linear equations. So we want to get the 12 out of here first. So we cancel that out with a plus 12. Minus 12 plus 12 cancels out. That leaves 3x plus 1 to the power 2 equals 12. And then just like with linear equations, we're going to cancel the coefficient here. Divide by 3, because this is 3 times that whole thing. Division would undo that operation. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That leaves x plus 1 to the power 2 equals 12 divided by, 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, now here's the, the tricky step, the interesting step. We want to get rid of this second power now. We can't do anything else until we get rid of that power because uh, the parentheses are both affected by this exponent. Uh, so the way we do this is we take a square root of both sides. And actually, remember uh, we've been saying uh, positive time or negative times negative is positive. So when we take these square roots, we're going to be careful to include the possibility that we have a positive or a negative root. All right, so there are going to be two possible solutions here. So now we can simplify these square roots. Square root of 4 is 2 because, so remember, square root of 4 is 2 because this is the same thing as saying 2 to the power 2 is 4. Square roots and second powers are inverse operations, just like addition and subtraction are inverse operations, and multiplication and division are inverse operations. So we got plus or minus 2 on the right-hand side, and then the square root and the second power here cancel out. If we take the square root of a to the power 2, uh, this gives us a uh, if a is bigger than 0. If a is negative, it would actually give us uh, the absolute value of a. Uh, but in any case, so this uh, second power is going to cancel by the square root, so that leaves x plus 1 over here. And then we want to get rid of the 1, so x is by itself, so we subtract 1 from both sides. That leaves x equals plus or minus 2 minus 1. Okay, so we're almost done. We just got to make sense of this plus or minus 2 minus 1. This is really telling us that there are two solutions. What are those two solutions? Well, we can figure it out like this. We can take the plus or minus 2 minus 1 and split it up along the positive sign and the negative sign. So we could take plus 2 minus 1 or minus 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So this tells us that x equals 1 positive 1, or x equals negative 3. Those are our two solutions.